dunya is a paradise for them in comparison to the akhirah. Why? And he's going to say it. He's going to say it. He's going to bring it now in the story. وَقَدْ ذَكَرُوا عَنْ إِبْنِ حَجْرِ الْأَسْكَلَانِ شَارِهُ الْبُخَارِ It's been mentioned that Al-Hafidh Ibn Hajr Al-Asqalani, the one who explains Sahih Al-Bukhari, بِالشَّرْحِ الَّذِي سَمَّاهُ فَتْحِ الْبَارِ And he, he explains Sahih Al-Bukhari with the sharh which is titled Fatul Bari. And he's going to mention a story about Ibn Hajr Al-Asqalani, Hafidh Ibn Hajr Al-Asqalani, well known. He has Fatul Bari, he has Bulugh Al-Maram, and many other books. Ibn Hajr Al-Asqalani. It says, mention about him. وَكَانَ قَادِيَ الْقَضَى بِمَصْرِ And he was a judge. He was the, the top, he was from the top judges in Egypt at his time, the time that Ibn Hajr lived. He was from the top judges. Look, subhanAllah. Great scholar in Islam, but and he was also a top judge from the judges of, of Egypt. أَنَّهُ مَرَّ ذَاتَ يَوْمٍ وَهُوَ عَلَى عَرْبَتِهِ تجره البغال والناس حوله one day ibn hajr al asqalani he was the, from the top of judges so he was an individual who was wealthy okay one day he was riding on his carriage that was being pulled by animals horses and the likes and people were around him because he was a famous judge People are around him. So he looks, he's wealthy, he's a famous top judge, and people are around him asking him questions. Possibly some of them are seeking charity and the likes. مَرَّ بِرَجُلٍ يَحُودِ سَمَّان يَعْنِي يَبِيعَ السَّمَنْ وَالزَّيْتِ So Ibn Hajar, the judge, was on his carriage and it was being pulled by Animals, like horses, whatever. And people were around. And while he passed, while he was on, in his carriage, he passed by a Jewish man who was a seller of, of oil. Like a fat, let's say fat. A seller of fat. You know, fat for, whether it's for cooking, for eating, or using it on, on, on things. He was a seller of fat. You know, when you cut the, the fat from the, from the butcher shop, you can take that fat and you can use it for different purposes. So he's, he sells fat. And, and it says, and the, 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 the sheikh, Allah, he said he was selling fat and he was also selling oil, like olive oil. وَمِنَ الْمَعْلُومِ أَنَّ الَّذِي يَبِيعَ السَّمَنْ وَالزَّيْتِ تَكُونُ ثِيَابُهُ وَسِخَةُ وَحَالُهُ سَيِّئَةُ فَأَوْقَفَ الْعَرْبَةُ So it's well known, the Sheikh said, it's well known that a person that sells this fat, right, in oils, a person that sells fat in oil, it's well known that his clothing is going to be dirty and he's, he's, he doesn't have a lot of money, he's not wealthy, he's not on, you know, high status, wealthy and the likes, he's, he's dirty. So the Jewish person stopped the carriage of Ibn Hajr al Asqalan. وَقَالَ لِإِبْنِ حَجْرِ And he said to Ibn Hajr al Asqalani, إِنَّ نَبِيَّكُمْ يَقُولُ الدُّنْيَا سِجْنُ الْمُؤْمِنْ وَجِنَّةُ الْكَافِرِ The Jewish person who sells oil and fat, he stopped Ibn Hajr's carriage and he said to him, Your Prophet, yani Muhammad, but he's, he's a Jew, so he didn't say Muhammad. He said, your prophet says that this dunya, this world, is the jail of the believer and the paradise of the disbeliever. The Jew said, so how is it, and your prophet said that this life is the jail of the believer and the paradise of the disbeliever. So how is it that I'm in this state and you're in that state? How is it that 
Yanni, how is it that I'm poor and you're rich? How is it that I'm living a difficult, struggling life and you're living a wealthy life, comfortable life? فَقَالَ لَهُ إِبْنُ حَجَرْ عَلَى الْبَدِيحَةِ So Ibn Hajar, rahmatullah alayhi, and this is, and before we continue, this is the point that I'm explaining, and the Shaykh explained, rahmatullah alayhi, is that when we read this verse, you have some people that would say, but no, I'm, I'm living a difficult life. I'm living a very difficult life, and my affairs are not easy. And we've explained one, one example of that. It's how you approach the, the trials and the tribulations, because the trials and tribulations are going to come. The hadith of the Prophet said, If Allah loves the people, He's going to test them. The hadith of the Prophet said, the most difficult, or people that have the most difficult, the most difficulties in their life are the prophets and the messengers, then the people that are after them and the people that are after them, meaning the people that are stronger in their religion. Right? So when Allah Azawajal says, فَسَنُوا يَسِرُهُ لِلْيُسْرَى We will make it easy for him. doesn't necessarily mean that he won't have trials and tribulations, but rather how he approaches and how he views those trials and tribulations and what he does to overcome them and his level of iman and patience and acceptance of the qadr of Allah Azza wa Jal brings makes him content, makes him comfortable, makes him realize that this is not the only life. This is this is a difficult life. There's going to be another life. This is written for me. This is a test for me. This is a means of of, of purification for me. This is um, this is this can raise me in levels. Maybe I have sins. Like Ibn Qayyim rahmatullah maybe mentioned in some of his books, an individual has sins and Allah Azza wa wants to put him in a... And you actually have a hadith in that regard. Individual has sins and Allah Azza wa wants to put him in a high part of Jinnah. So Allah gives him trials and tribulations so that he can be patient and make istighfar and dig deep and turn to Allah Azza wa and become in a higher part of Jinnah. That he would have only reached there had it been for those tribulations. If those tribulations would have not afflicted him, he would have not reached that part of Jannah. So, so many benefits to the trials and the tribulations and how an individual interacts with them or approaches them. Now, so going back to the story, so the man, the Jewish man said that your prophet said that this life is the 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 jail of the believer and the paradise of the disbeliever. So how is it that I'm like this and you're like that? I'm the one that's struggling. I'm the one that's you know has a difficult life, and, and you're the one that's comfortable. You're in this carriage. You're a judge, t- top judge. People are all around you. So Ibn Hajar rahmatullahi responded to him with clear understanding. He said, "Ana fi sijnin." بالنسبة لما أعد الله للمؤمنين من الثواب والنعيم He said I am even though I'm, I'm a top judge and even though I'm wealthy I am in a jail in comparison to what Allah Azza wa Jal has prepared for the believers of reward and bliss in Jannah. Look at that. And you think that I'm wealthy, you think that I'm comfortable, you think that I live a comfortable life. If this, that which, that which I'm living now compared to Jannah is, is an absolute jail. There's no comparison. There's no comparison to what Allah Azza wa has prepared for the believers in Jannah to me and my status now. There's no comparison. Because the comparison is, although you see me living comfortably and wealthy, this is a jail. Then he said, لِأَنَّ الدُّنْيَا بِنِسْبَةِ لِلْآخِرَةِ لَيْسَتْ بِشَيْءٍ He said, because the dunya compared to the hereafter is nothing. The dunya is nothing. It cannot compare. كَمَا قَالَ النَّبِيُّ صَلَى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمْ لَمَوْضِعِ صَوْتِ فِي الْجَنَّةِ فِي صَوْتِ فِي الْجَنَّةِ خَيْرٌ مِّنَ الدُّنْيَا وَمَا فِيهَا Like the Prophet ﷺ mentioned in an authentic hadith, 
the place of a staff, you know, a staff that's used in, 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 in war. The place of a staff in Jannah is better than the dunya and everything in dunya. You know how small a staff is? How thin it is? It's thin. How thin. The place of that in Jannah, that thin place in Jannah, is better than the dunya and everything, in, is better than this world and everything in, the, in, the, in this world. Then Ibn Hajar said, وَأَمَّا أَنْتَ أَيُّهَا الْيَهُودِ فَأَنْتَ فِي جَنَّةٍ بِنِسْبَةِ لِمَا عَدَّ اللَّهُ لَكَ مَنَ الْعَذَابِ إِنْ مُتَّ عَلَى الْكُفْرِ He said, as for you, O Jew, with your poverty and your difficulty, as for you, O Jew, the life that you're living is paradise compared to that which Allah has prepared for the disbelievers. Afwan. That which you're living is paradise in comparison to the punishment that Allah has prepared for you if you die on disbelief. Danny, you're living a difficult life now? You think it's difficult? Compared to what Allah has prepared for you if you die as a disbeliever in Islam, then right now you're living in Jannah. Then right now you're living in Jannah. فَاقْتَنَعَ The Shaykh said, فَاقْتَنَعَ بِذَلِكَ الْيَهُودِ وَصَارَ ذَلِكَ سَبَبًا فِي إِسْلَامِهِ So the Jew submitted. And that became the reason for him entering into the fold of Islam. And it said in the life story of Ibn Hajjad that that Jew entered into to the fold of Islam because of that response that he got from Imam Ibn Hajjad, Al-Asqalani, Rahmatullah.